BFTB. Best fight the best. So it was Monday. And Deontay Wilder still has not received the contract he was supposed to receive on Friday. No contract was sent. No offer was made. Although Deontay Wilder has already agreed to any terms that those guys have presented to him. They won't even, they now won't even present terms. And I still have fucking idiots in the comments telling me the stupidest shit on earth. Why, why won't you just understand that Deontay Wilder doesn't want this fight? Why don't you understand that even if they do send the contract, Deontay Wilder won't sign it? The fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? You stupid fucking UK motherfuckers is just... Y'all, you're not even stupid. You're, you're fucking pathetic, man. You're not even stupid. You're fucking pathetic. Fuck every one of you bitch-ass motherfuckers, man. Every one of you. You're fucking cowards. Every one of you is bitch-made cowards. Every one of you. Your internet tough guys is what you are. That's what you are. You motherfuckers, don't put your face on shit. Y'all fucking got up some stupid fucking icon. Probably of fucking Anthony Joshua's fucking bald chest. Or or a bum Lufkin. Or one of these other dumb fucking pussy ass cowards. On your fucking page. That's that's your icon. You won't you won't put your face on shit. You'll just talk behind a fucking icon like a pussy. But I'm guessing that's your mentality. I'm guessing that's how y'all really live in life. Straight pussy ass cowards. This man said, I will go to the UK. Send me a contract. Bitch ass Hearn said, oh, I'm I'm surprised. I'm surprised that I'm, I'm surprised that Wilder agrees to terms. Fuck you mean he agrees to terms. He's been calling your bitch ass out since this fucking pussy coward won his bought his IBF title from fucking the bum Charles Mark. Uh, did, or did we forget this? Did we forget that Hearn said back then in 2015? Back then. They heard that we forget that Hearn said, oh, AJ sparks Wilder out in three rounds. Did we forget this? Did, did, did this just magically disappear? Did every one of you UK fan bitches get amnesia all of a sudden? Short-term amnesia. Where the last three years are just fucking gone. Did everybody forget this? You know, when Wilder said, oh, well, I was going to let the young man live, but if you're saying he knocks me out in three rounds, well, let's make the fight now, not wait for the future. Let's make the fight now. Did we forget this? I mean, did, did this just somehow disappear? Did this part of fucking Google get erased? Did we forget Anthony Joshua saying, Oh, well, you know, let me get my experience up. And then when I get my experience up, get, get a few fights under my belt. Get, get a few fights. You know, then, then we'll make the Wilder fight. This is Joshua's own words. Did we forget when he was sitting in that fucking chair with the fucking sunglasses on? Sitting back, you know, let me get my, let me get a few fights. Let me get a few fights, you know. Let me get my experience up. Did we forget this? Because you stupid motherfuckers changed the narrative from experience after he fought Vladimir Klitschko. Because before that, it was Wilder's cherry picking. He's trying to cherry pick Joshua. How soon we forget. No, not we. Y'all. How soon y'all forget. How soon y'all forget. This was 2015. Beginning of 2016. And then we changed, we, we, we changed, we dropped the fucking experience excuse, ducking excuse, we dropped that excuse. And then we go to the skinny legs and windmills excuse until that ran its course. 
And then we change to, oh, well, Deontay Wilder is not worth it. He doesn't, he's, he's not being realistic. The realistic and worth excuse is what popped into place. The realistic and worth excuse. You know? Then you're giving all these fucking other fighters a percentage. They're all getting percentages. And as soon as it gets to Deontay Wilder, it's flat fee, period. That's it. Nope, flat fee. Not doing nothing. Then, then you know, the, the experience excuse ran its course. Mind you, this is a gold medal winner. That you fucking fan bitches were saying is inexperienced. And Wilder's trying to cherry pick him because he's inexperienced. He doesn't have that many fights. But he had more than Wilder. And he's a gold medal winner. But he was inexperienced. He was too inexperienced for Wilder to fight right then. He needed to get his experience up. Then the windmills and fucking skinny leg excuse. But if you got this big fucking dud. And then you have skinny leg windmill Wilder. Then the big fucking dud should have fought him back then. But oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The skinny legs and windmills is the reason why that fight can't happen. And why Joshua beats him. You motherfuckers talk a good one about why Joshua beats him, but it ain't like we're talking about Jack Johnson and Mike Tyson. These motherfuckers are fighting the same era at the same time right now. We can find out for sure. The fuck are y'all talking about? Oh, I think he'll beat him. I think he'll beat him. Fuck thinking. Make it happen. Then we move from that excuse, from the windmills and fucking skinny leg excuse, to he's not worth it, yet Joseph Parker is. So you can give Joseph Parker a percentage when this motherfucker has never made what Deontay Wilder makes right now. The only time he made that is in the fucking Joshua fight. But mysteriously, he's worth 33%. He's worth 33%, but fucking Wilder's not worth, he's a flat fee, that's it, flat fee. But he's got the most prestigious belt and will give this pussy coward the most prestige. Motherfuckers forgot about the Parker fight already. Don't nobody give a fuck about the Parker fight. Everybody's talking about Joshua Wilder. That's it. They've been talking about Joshua Wilder. Even when he was about to fight Parker, they was talking about Joshua Wilder. Before that, it was Joshua Wilder. When he was fighting Takam, it was Joshua Wilder. Fucking coward, man. Stupid motherfuckers on my channel talking about, well, why don't, why can't you see that it doesn't matter if they, if they send a, what the fuck you mean if they send a contract? Send the contract and find out. Let's do that. Send the contract and find out. Punk pussy bitch made motherfuckers talking about, oh, well, what, why can't you see if they send the con, if they send the contract, Wilder won't sign it anyway. He's a bum at best. What? How do you sound? Yo, bruh. You. Okay. Let's put this into perspective. Let's put this into perspective. Anything. Anything. You punk, pussy, coward, fan bitches. Have wanted something. Whatever it is. You have wanted it. In your life. You have wanted it. And if someone said, I will give this to you, if you want it, and you already want it, you have made it clear that you want this. You have made it clear, I want this. Whatever that this is, you have made it clear that you want it. Made it clear. The person that has it to give it to you says, I will give you this. If you do this. So you say fine. I will do that. I will do that. Let's make it happen. And then when you agree. To do whatever that. That is. To get the thing that you want. They change it again. They change it. They say no. Well. You don't really want that. How would you feel? Would you be saying. Oh, well, why can't, why don't you understand that? I, I mean, that person is not going to take that thing that they want anyway. 
They're just not going to take it because they're not a good person. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? What does them having to be a bum, having to be a good person, a bad person, what does that have to do with anything? If you are that person and you are saying you want that thing, and this person that has that thing is saying, I will give you this if you do that. You do that, and that person still doesn't give you that. They just change it to something else. They say, uh, well... No, no, let's do something. They're playing fucking games is what it is. That's what that's called. That's playing games with somebody. You're playing with somebody's fucking emotions. And what's going to happen is when they finally get the chance to get that thing that they want, they're going to rip it from you aggressively. They're going to rip it from you. They're going to snatch it from you. And that's what's happening with fucking punk ass Anthony Johnson. He's playing with Wilder. He's playing with a fucking killer. This is a man that will knock your fucking head off with one punch and you are playing with him. You're playing with him. You're playing Russian roulette is what you're doing. That's what you're doing. You're playing Russian roulette. This is a man that said he wants a body on his resume. You are playing Russian roulette with a killer. You will eventually have to fight this man. Eventually. It's going to happen. And you are going to get hurt. This is, this is insane, man. This is fucking insane. Insane. Man, maybe you guys, maybe you guys missed it, you know, last November, December, you know, this November, December 2017, when Eddie Hearn said, oh, you, you guys, you'll want everything now. You need to relax. The fight will happen in 2018. Did, did we forget this? Because I damn sure didn't. Did we forget this? Did we forget that Eddie Hearn said Wilder versus Joshua will happen in 2017? I mean 2018. That's what he said. That's what he said. Did we forget this? Did we forget this? The UK fan bitches were saying, oh, you know, Hearn said it's gonna happen in 2018. Let's just give, let's just wait and see. Let's just let's just hold off. You guys are trying to press for everything right now. Hearn said it's going to happen in 2018. Well, it's 2018. And Hearn is already saying it's not going to happen until 2019. He's already saying that. Why? Because you UK fan bitches have a short attention span. You AJ dick riders don't mind passing the narrative from fucking one narrative to the next. You don't mind it. You have no problem with saying, oh, well, that's what he said then, but this is what he's saying now. So then doesn't matter. Now does. Let's worry about the right now. Let's worry about that. He's saying this right now. He's saying that they can't fight Wilder next because they're fighting Povetkin next. Cool. But what about fucking a month ago? One month. One month ago. How about that? When they were saying they're not interested in Povetkin. They have no interest in Povetkin. They want Wilder. Well, if you want Wilder, why the fuck didn't you give him a fucking decent percentage? If you want Wilder, why didn't you agree to 50 million? If you want Wilder, why the fuck are you fucking signing a Povetkin fight right now? If you want Wilder, why aren't you giving this man exactly what he's saying, what he's asking for? Because what he's asking for is still in your interest. So why aren't you giving him what he's asking for? Why aren't you saying, okay, fine, we're going to fight Povetkin. If we beat Povetkin, we're signing this contract, we're sending you this contract because we want you next. So we're going to lock you into a contract contingent upon us beating Povetkin. So then what we'll do is we'll do exactly what we did with Vladimir Klitschko. You know, if we beat Molina, we was fighting Klitschko next. Be at ringside. If we beat Povetkin, come on in the ring. We'll get our we'll get our promotion started right then on the spot. Do a face-off right then. For undisputed. If I beat Povetkin. Why aren't we doing that? Where is that contract? 
Where's that at? Where's that at? Huh? You pussies won't even send him a contract. You fear this man so bad, you will not even send him a contract. And you deny every contract that he sends you. Every opportunity, every offer he makes, you pussies move the goalpost. You wouldn't, I, I don't think you take 50 million in the UK. I don't think you take 100 million in the US. If Deontay Wilder said this fight is worth $100 million and I will give you $100 million to fight me in the US, I don't believe that you take it. I don't believe it. I believe that you will say, eh, the money's good, but we got to fight at Wembley. And it has to be on this specific day. And nobody else can be fighting in that month. Because if any other fight, it doesn't matter. If it's a bantamweight, a straw weight, a flyweight, if anybody is fighting, matter of fact, if, if it's a street fight, if there's two fucking birds fighting outside in the street in September, then we can't have the Wilder fight. Because there'll be too much attention on those two squirrels fighting over there by that tree. There'll be too much attention on those two squirrels that we can't have this fight. Nope, all the, every eye on earth, every animal's eye, every fucking, all the trees need to be bending our direction. You know what I'm saying? Eh, nope, can't do it. I think you pussies are so coward that you'll be like, uh, well, we would fight Wilder next, but because the... The, the water in Australia, when you flush the toilet, goes the wrong direction. We're going to have to wait for that to start turning the other way. When that turns the other way, you know, then there'll be more attention on this fight. And we can actually have this fight. Uh, there is no circumstance, none, on planet Earth, there was no circumstance, there was no deal that Wilder can offer that will fucking, in, that, will, that will entice this fucking coward to fight him. None. The only deal that will entice Wilder, I mean, will entice Joshua to fight Wilder, is when Wilder is about 80 years old. I'm going to say in the next 35 years, you know, when Wilder turns roughly 70, I think Joshua will have the courage to fight him at that time. I think, I think then he'll be gung-ho and eager to fight him right then. Absolute fucking punk pussy cowards. Absolute pussy cowards. Joshua's a fucking coward. Absolute coward. Absolute. There is no mistake in this dude is a fucking fraud. An absolute pussy ass fraud. And his fan bitches that encourage him, that condone him, that support him for being a fucking coward are just as cowardly. Just as cowardly. Y'all are just as bitch. You can see me calling you a bitch. Justice, bitch. I'm on Hatman and Sporting Icons fucking every time they make a video. I'm asking them, where is the fucking contract that Hearn said he was giving them Friday? Three days ago. Where's that contract? Every video they make, I'm fucking commenting. I'm asking them that question. Every one of them. Until they answer it, that's the, that's the only fucking post they will get every video they make. Everyone and every UK channel I see, I'm asking y'all pussies the same shit. And every one of you American dick riders on AJ, I'm asking y'all motherfuckers the same shit. Where's the contract? Any video I see of anybody supporting Joshua, I'm asking where's the contract? Because y'all are fucking frauds. Frauds. Y'all don't want nothing but to ride AJ's dick. That's all you want. Fucking coward frauds. BFTB and I'm out.